Hi viewers, I had a couple fakes sent in to me from Gabe Mitchell in the United States whose channel will link I will leave down in the description. Um, one of these is the British trade dollar from Hong Kong I believe and the other one which is a bit unusual I had to actually um, do a bit of research to find out what this one is. It's quite a scarce coin by the look of it. It's um, from the Republic of China 1949. Um, I think it's pronounced Xing 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 Dollar Xing Xing something like that. Oh, I don't no know. idea. No, I've no idea either. Igor, forty millimeters it should be, and two millimeters thick. But I can't find what the uh, purity is. I'm sure it's supposed to be ninety percent. But anyway, both of them uh, ping like brass. If you'd like to uh, give that a go for us, Igor. Anyway, the trade dollar we'll start with um, and we'll do a comparison with uh, an authentic one as some of my viewers know I already have. Um, you can see a, a distinct colour difference there, can't you? Um, I wouldn't be surprised if the die rotation is wrong as well, but maybe not. No. Um, but anyway, uh, these these are both fake. Let's uh, give them a go on the coin slide, Igor. If you'd like to do the honours. Now they both do seem to have a little bit of magnetic resistance, don't they? Mm. So, which... Um, indicates there is some copper in them as copper is diamagnetic so, and as we all know brass does have a copper in it. Oh, I seem to be getting quicker. <laughs> that one's slower. But anyway uh, for those wondering we will just run the authentic one trade dollar down there so you can see how slow it should go. Yes quite a bit slower and we'll just do a quick way up Start with the uh, trade dollar, which I believe should be between 27 and 29.95 grams, and it comes in at 24.84, so underweight. And the other one, I think, I didn't write this one down, but I think it should be 26.5 or something like that, and it's 26.64, so it's pretty close, but. Um, according to the data available it should be two millimeters thick and it's considerably more um, but anyway it's clearly a fake and uh, what do we need to do now Igor? Uh, destroy them. Yes let's get on with it. We like to recycle props from previous videos so on this occasion we're going to be recycling Igor's compressed air rifle and turning it into something completely different. Let's um, get on with it. Now for the sophisticated ignition system. A clip. 
perfect. And there it is, in all its glory. Now remember, boys and girls, you should never try this at home, and definitely don't ever play with flammable things. Our lovely trade dollar and our lovely Chinese 1949 dollar ready for termination. I don't think we'll be using that one. Yeah. At least it's a tight fit. Now for the sophisticated ignition system. You should do that bit again.